Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite Intelligent Payment Automation. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the execution and monitoring of vendor payments. After clicking the overview button, I am directed to a subsidiary specific dashboard for managing payments. In the upper left-hand corner, I can select the subsidiary from which I want to transact. Each US subsidiary will have its own dashboard once they have been approved for an account with Bill and configuration is complete. Bill provides payment processing capabilities within NetSuite using your company's existing bank accounts. The dashboard view provides meaningful insights regarding which bills are overdue and those due in the next seven days. Underneath is the account register, which shows the NetSuite GL bank account register corresponding to the bank accounts that have been set up for payment processing. And the reminders portlet will provide important alerts such as payments pending approval, payments pending submission to bill, and outstanding checks. In the payment processing section, the payables area is where payment runs are created. Here I can define specific details like the source bank account for payments and the payment creation date. I can then choose which vendors to pay with support for partial payment options. A running total of all payments is displayed before processing, providing visibility into expected cash outflows. After reviewing the details, I can create the payment run. This will trigger approval routing, or in this case, since it falls under my set threshold, I can continue on to transmit the payment data to Bill. After users are initially verified, they can simply click the Submit Payments button and complete the final authentication. At this point, payments have been submitted to Bill for processing. Within the Payments and Vendors section, I can view all payments that have been submitted along with their statuses, I can also view any outstanding checks under the payments area. Within the list of vendors, I can see which vendors have successfully synced to bill, along with those that require additional details, such as an address correction to complete vendor setup. To access my monthly billing statements from bill, I will select account. Account statements will be made available on the first day of the following month. Any charges due to bill will be automatically deducted from the default bank account selected for the subsidiary. Under bank accounts, I can add, remove, or change accounts and set my default bank account. Finally, payment approval routing can be accessed under the settings. Here I can update or configure approval workflows. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.